organisms aren't immortal. They eventually die. So who will make sure that organisms will still exist in nature? A simple and efficient system in us makes sure that the species will be perpetuated. That is, continued in nature even after we die. I am referring to the reproduction system in us. And not only us, but the system in all the animals, plants and the lower unicellular organisms is extremely important. It makes sure of the continuation of species. So where do we begin? We need to first understand the process of reproduction. It is important for us to know how exactly this process of reproduction is carried out. So let us begin with learning about the process of reproduction in this video. How will we define the process in simplest words? Let us divide the word itself. The word re means again and production means making. So can we define the process as making something again? Absolutely. And what is being made here? Of course, the organisms. Now you may say that the newborn babies are not exactly the same like parents. So how can we say again? Well, it is not the same organism, but it is the same species. A mango tree gives rise to a mango tree, while a cat gives birth to kittens. So this is what we mean by reproduction, producing the same species every time. So now the next question that pops up in our mind is that will all the organisms reproduce in the same manner? Will unicellular bacteria and huge whales reproduce in a similar way? Absolutely not. If there are several differences in the body structures and other life processes of all organisms, then how can the reproduction pattern be the same? This gets us to the two major types of reproduction patterns. The first type is followed by the unicellular organisms. Now since it is just one single cell that carries out all the activities, it is obvious that even reproduction will be done by the same tiny creature. So this type is the asexual reproduction. In this type, no specialized cells called the sex cells or the gametes will be produced inside the body. The single cell will divide in two to form daughter cells. And it is done. On the other hand, in case of multicellular organisms, the body has specialized cells called the gametes which fuse to form the new individual. Such type is referred to as the sexual reproduction. We will learn about the first type that is the asexual reproduction in the upcoming video.